Hey y'all, um, thought I would show you, I need to make a mortise in this that the, I'm going to have a board 15 and a half inches long that will recess down into this. Um, and basically, how in the world do you cut that out by hand? And the answer is slowly but surely. So I'm going to take this chisel and put it on here. Now the board ends up being about a sixteenth of an inch wider than my chisel. Um, and I would like it if it were exactly the same thickness as this, but I'm not going to plane the board down um, just to make this. That would be, it's, it is less time for me to make the groove wider than it is to make the board thinner. So, um, I'm going to chisel this all out at this width, and then I'm going to put the board in on the top of the line, because I'm going to make this top line perfectly straight all the way across. Um, I'm going to put the board in against that top line, and then mark exactly where the bottom is. And that way, when I put the board in there, I will have an exact tight fit uh, for board. So each time I go, I'm taking about a sixteenth to an eighth, depending upon what I feel like at the moment. Set in there, bevel in the direction of I'm planning to travel, and give it a couple good whacks with the mallet. And I can take out a sixteenth of an inch of that groove, and then go again. And again. And then just repeat that process on and on and on. And basically I'm trying to make this groove a quarter inch deep. And so every now and then I bring in my, uh, my tri-square which I have, uh, my combination square which I have set up to a quarter inch. I just set it in there and make sure that I'm a quarter inch. And if I'm a little lower than a quarter inch, it's not a huge issue, as long as there are at least two or three points that are dead on a quarter inch, and uh, nothing is, is taller than a quarter inch. Uh, so that's what I'm basically doing. So it's just a slow process of working from one end to the other, and then put the board in there, make the line, and trim out that uh, groove to fit, and there you go. So that's how I'm making a uh, long mortise. I hope you like that. Um, Tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.